How to write a comedic monologue. Great comedic monologues are hard to come by, so why not write your own? It's a great writing and acting exercise, and it's also a fantastic resource for audition situations. Create a flawed character, someone who's insecure, socially awkward, irrationally hot-headed, or extreme in any way. Imagine putting that character in a tense situation, such as a confrontation, a breakup, a confession of some sort, or any other heightened, pressurized moment. Become the character. Tape record yourself or take notes as you begin to try and get yourself out of a precarious situation. Be sure to vary the moods or tactics. Don't be one note, such as angry the whole time. Let your character be manipulative or unpredictable with his or her reactions and emotions. Imagine something unexpected happening in the middle of the character's monologue, something that is out of the character's control and changes the direction of the monologue. Develop some recognizable physical or verbal characteristics, patterns, throughout the monologue that become heightened until the end, when they either get in the way of the character or are dropped completely as the character reveals his or her true self. End on a high energy note, with the character more perplexed than ever, or self-deceived, or confrontational. That's it, my amigos! Oh, and here's uh, tips and warnings. Try and work in some physical humor such as funny or awkward body language. That is always a good thing. Space work, of course. Of course! Space work is extremely important when developing characters. Let me tell you guys something. This past Halloween, I learned something about creating a character. And it was really awesome. So I was walking around the Halloween store. Uh, you know, there's an endless supply of costumes. As I kept walking around, I kept thinking, man, these just aren't up to par because they all look so cheap and fake and I want to be authentic. Not only authentic, I want to actually become the character throughout the night and be able to play this character. That way it'll allow me to be sharp on Sunday morning because remember, I went to a party on Saturday night, okay? So then I started looking at different accessories. The light bulb just went off in my head and I thought to myself, dude, if I accessorize said costume, it will look more real than just a typical costume. I found a pirate costume, and then I found the rings, I found the mustache, I found the bandana, I found the hat, the parrot, the knife, the sword, the hook, the actual belt that has like a skeleton type of um, insignia on it. I found some cheap like leather type chaps that go up to the knees. It clicked for me, finally. The way to create characters is accessorizing them with the, the things that make this character who the character is. Do you get what I'm saying? So in my last class, I created this character. We had to go out in public and we had to see somebody and then become that character. And you didn't have to hear him or her. You just had to see them from afar and then learn their characteristics, their mannerisms. And I accessorized him. I thought to myself, oh, well, he's got long hair. He's got really long hair, and so he's like always batting it away from his face. That's one thing. Another thing, he has a helmet. A cheap-ass helmet. He thinks he's a hardcore biker, but really his budget doesn't allow it because he lives in the basement with his mom. He's got white Velcro shoes. You get what I'm saying? And they're kind of like wore down on the outsides because he has a funny way of walking. As a matter of fact, I dragged his feet during my uh, scene. He's got jean shorts. They're dirty. He's got a white shirt. It's got holes in it. It's got a mustard stain on one side, a little bit of himself on another side, like drool or something. When you create characters, make sure to accessorize them in your mind and with the physicality and most importantly, with the space work. The space work is super important to have space work with your comedic character. It's very important. Also, last week I created a character where uh, it was kind of like that, like he was smoking. He had like, uh, from uh, 34 years of smoking, that's right. And he would breathe in through his neck. He had a hole in his neck. And then what I did was 
I made him tired. So he would go, ah, I don't know anymore, Robbie. You know, life is such a drag. And then what I did is I gave him an oxygen tank. So he had a little oxygen tank and it was on a wheelbarrow and he was like, he was pushing it around on stage. Man, it made for such an interesting character. And it was fun to play. While I was, I was on stage, I really got into it. I made him really slow. I made him, you know, really tired. Uh, I gave him a cigarette that he breathed in through his neck because he had a hole in his neck. And then finally, to top it off, I gave him a breathing mask. <laughs> How to write a comedic monologue? Accessorize your character with space work. Accessorize your pirate. Accessorize your fireman. Whatever character you have, accessorize him. Make sure he's got the accessories to be the character who he is. That's all I got, my amigos! That's all I got, my amigos! No positive pill of energy! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Done. Okay, I got tons of auditions, so I'm just gonna keep going into my auditions. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah!